Hey everyone, welcome back to Lori's Boston Found, where thrifted is the new black. My name is Lori. Today I have a really fun haul for you. Um, that is the combination of two trips, two shopping trips. One was a trip to Savers on Black Friday. I go Black Friday shopping every year with my girlfriends. It's like a decade long tradition. And I skipped out for a couple of hours because the savers that, one of the savers I go to is uh, about five minutes from the mall we typically shop at on Black Friday. So I snuck out because all bottoms were 75% off. So skirts, shorts, pants, jeans, any bottoms from any department were 75% off. So I wanted to take advantage of that. And then I think on Sunday, the Sunday after Thanksgiving, I went to the bins. I picked up some random stuff, but um, I needed to finish up my box to send out to Courtney um, for our holiday swap. So I needed to get to the bins one last time because I've been like piecemealing the box. So it's done and I'm excited to get that out to her. Um, so I thought I would just hop on tonight and give you a haul of my two trips. I'm worried that I may have like forgotten something downstairs, but you'll get the gist of it. Um, so the pants, I think the most expensive pair of pants I bought may have had like a $13 price tag at Savers because they can get pretty pricey, but it wouldn't have been more than $3.50. So some items I got for as little as 75 cents and upwards of like $3.50, but um, it was really fun. I had a stack and I actually put a ton back because I tend to have an influx of just stuff in general during the holidays. We do the holidays very big at my house. So um, I've been trying to just like list and get things out and not bring quite as much in the house. So um, anyway, we'll get started. Uh, but one thing I did wanna show you before I start. Okay, Lou, Lou sit with me. Um, I did get the sweater. This is a vintage Valerie Stevens, which is just like a brand from Macy's but it's Angora and rabbit hair, and it's just kind of has this Fair Isle Nordic. If you can tell, it also has shoulder pads in here. So like my, my 90s self is, oh gosh, actually, this is like, they have the Velcro. This just brings back memories. My mom used to keep them in a drawer in the bathroom and she would like put them in all of her shirts, whether they had them or not. <laughs> so this just cracks me up. But anyways, this is a size medium, definitely a little bit oversized because I'm not typically a medium, but it's really cool. I mean, it's really cozy and it's got that Angora um, and I did get this at the bin. So, but on one of my trips and I did show this on my um, Instagram story, but I don't think I've shown it in a haul. I picked up this insanely beautiful dress. So um, anybody who has a daughter going to prom, uh, one of the big names in the prom business is Sherry Hill. So Sherry Hill, Giovanni, those are two big names that I know my daughter was on the lookout for junior year for her prom. And I found, so when I saw the Sherry Hill tag, I got super excited. This was at Savers for $19.99. It's got all silver and gold sequins. It's so gorgeous. It's a size six and it's a high low. Um, I did some, one of my viewers uh, or one of the people who follows me on Instagram sent me the stock photo for this. So I was so appreciative because it's honestly, I wanted to show it on camera because pictures really didn't do it justice to show the detail. So um, her dresses are so expensive. Um, Angelina's prom dress was a Sherry Hill and it was, did, did she end up Sherry Hill? Or yeah, she got a Sherry Hill, I'm pretty sure, or Giovanni, I don't know. Anyway, her dresses can range between three and like $700. So I have this listed for $199, this high-low. There are a few spots where maybe the sequins aren't perfect, so I didn't go too high, but this is a gorgeous dress. And I also wanted to get this listed now and not wait till prom season because I think it would be stunning for like a fancy affair on New Year's Eve with the black and the gold. Um, and silver sequins, just stunning. So that was not from my haul that day. I just wanted to give, uh, show you what I got. So I just have a pile here and I'm gonna go through and I will let you know if it is from Savers or the bins. So I got these American Eagle pants. Um, these are a size 10 and they are um, the sateen jegging. 
in this kind of like a maroonish color. They're very, very soft. They have that stretch sateen look. Um, and I love that they were size 10. I think at Savers, these were like $9.49, so 75% off of that. So under $3, like $2.40. And American Eagle sells for me pretty consistently between like 20 and $27. So probably around 24, 25, these will go for. So not bad. Um, I picked this up and I have not been picking up things from uh, this brand very often. The limited, this is the limited collection. I tend to do very well with tall or long pants, um, especially in athletic wear, like Athleta or Lululemon tall pants. Usually when I list those, they sell relatively quickly. So these were in absolutely beautiful condition. I didn't know if the collection made them any more special. I'm familiar with the Drew Fit and they were a size 12 and they were long and they were this really nice hunter green color, which I thought was really nice for the holidays. So for, for a professional look, for a holiday party, in a size 12 and tall. And I don't think, I think these were marked maybe $7.99, so they cost $2 once they were 75% off. So really pretty. I love the sizing on this and it seems like a newer, newer piece. Um, these are a summer piece, but I thought these were really nice. And again, a great size. And this is Hey Hey or Hi Hi from um, Anthropology. This looks like a very new tag, like these have never even been washed. They're a size 12 and they're this iCat print and they are joggers. So they have joggers and they have like a button cuff, really adorable. And again, $7, $7.49 and then 75% off. So these were under $3 and they have this really nice button detail on the side, just so pretty. And actually I got this and then I picked this up at the bins, which I thought would look really nice with these. Huh, maybe not, the pink's a little bit darker. But this is a Valerie Stevens, much like the sweater I'm wearing now. 100% um, cashmere, two ply, just very simple pink cardigan. I did wash this already, so it's a little bit wrinkled because I just set it out. It still needs to be steamed. Beautiful condition, beautiful condition. Definitely a smaller size. Did I say the size yet? It's a small, but 100% cashmere, not a single hole or anything. This is, I was surprised at the condition of this sweater. Very happy with it. Um, hoping to get somewhere between 20 and $30 for these. And that goes for the pants that I've shown so far too. Um, so that's that. These were out of season, but I think these were marked $4. So these cost a dollar at Savers and they are free people. I'm showing you the back. These are a size small, but they have like the lace detail in the waistband and they're like a gauzy, just comfy short. Um, they do have side pockets here um, and I'll show you the, the tag. They're just a free people, small elastic waistband, really cute somewhere between 18 and $25 for these, like around 20. I don't even know if I'd get 25 for those. This brand, I think I only brought up one pair. I don't know where the red ones were. Um, I looked at these and I saw this label, Crass & Co. Um, not anything I was familiar with, but they really reminded me of like Preppy, Vineyard Vines, and these are like lacrosse shorts. So if, if you know lacrosse style, the, the boys on the lacrosse team typically wear like pretty loud shorts. There's a whole line of lacrosse shorts that are very loud, but um, I looked these up and they were, the brand is kind of hard to locate, but these had sold for pretty decent money. Um, there were like five or six of these shorts that had sold for $30 and then some of them sold in like the, you know, 20 to $30 range. So these have, um, looks like lobsters on the side. And then I also got a red pair with entire like maps of the United States, like just the outline graphic of the map embroidered. Um, so they were 650, 75% off. So um, 325 and then cut that in half. So really like $1.70 for these and I got two pairs. So if I can get a 20 to $25 return on these, that would be great. So I got the red and the yellow. When I first picked them up, I was thinking I would lock them together, but they're definitely worth enough to stand alone. They are a size medium. 
don't think the red ones are here. I may have already filed those. Some of these things I've listed and some I haven't, but I was just getting to the point where I just needed to do my haul so I could get everything listed. Um, I was really selective with my denim that day. Uh, I have a lot of denim in stock. I do sell jeans pretty consistently, um, but I wasn't picking up like Lucky Brand. I didn't see any Madewell. Um, I didn't see any Mother Jeans or some of the, the typical pairs that I am on the hunt for. But these are DL 1961 smart denim and the reason I picked these up I think these were marked like under seven dollars their jeans can be marked really high at um, savers so I was really just trying to focus on things that were marked at a low price point so I'm guessing these were like nine dollars or less which means they cost under three dollars and they were really like new condition I was also looking although this is a lie these are a 25 I was trying to get some bigger sizes so these must have been really inexpensive for me to pick them up I've already like washed them and gone through so I'm guessing these were probably seven dollars or less which put them under three dollars but anyway really nice skinny leg um, do you do well with this brand I sold a few pieces um, but I feel like they're supposed to do better than they do for me so I'm not sure um, I don't know if I've hauled these. Yes, I, I don't think so. These are L.L. Bean boots that I must have picked up that same day. Um, they have a little schmeg I have to clean up. They're like a little scuffed there, but um, these were only $4.99, and so I always use a 20% off, so these cost $4, and they are lined with plaid, just a really nice quality boot, and they are a size 9 and made in Canada. Like, just gorgeous. Um, I was surprised that these were marked as low as they were. You just never know what you're going to get with Saver. Sometimes their prices are ridiculous and sometimes they're super inexpensive. This I think was a little bit of a bust, although maybe these will do well on um, eBay. I actually just recently sold um, my Buffalo plaid Woolrich vintage coat. I don't think it's been accepted yet, but I ended up sending it, selling it on eBay. Um, and Woolrich is just a brand that sells like their retail is super expensive these days. So this looked like it might have been a newer tag. It's a bigger size. It's a size 12 wool silk blend um, skirt. And it's like this brown tweed skirt. But the comps were just not great on this particular skirt. But they were also smaller sizes. So I'm hoping the fact that it's a size 12, I think this will probably sell on eBay for me, maybe between $20 and $30. Um, this was marked $4 at Savers, so it cost a dollar. Oh my gosh, I've never been to a 75% off sale at Savers. So I was really excited for this sale. Um, I picked these, oh no, this is so funny because one of these I got at Savers, the other I got at the bins and you'll see how similar they are. Okay, I bought these at Savers and these were marked $13. Free People, which their stuff doesn't even, their jeans don't even go for a lot, but I thought it's almost like this oil slicked look, like there's like a black shadow, um, which is by design on these burnt orange um, and they were 70, I would have never paid $13 for these, but $3, $3.50, sure. Um, really cute, they're, they're like new condition. You can always tell the Free People label, once this goes through the washer and the dryer, it like shrinks up. Um, you'll see if you ever pick them up. These are another size 25, which is small, um, but I got these because they were unique looking and like brand new. Um, but typically this is shriveled and so they don't always catch that it's free people. So I pick free people pants and jeans up at Savers pretty inexpensively often, but because these were like new and that tag was so obvious, they marked them up. Then when I was at the bins, I'm kind of going back and forth here, I picked these up. There's this little section in the bins that I've been having really good luck in. It's kind of a throwback section and it's it's this hodgepodge of like electronics and books in big plastic bins. It's really like a free for all throwback. And I just make my way over there. It's usually quiet. In the past two trips to the bins, I've had really good luck. Then these were over there. Um, and they have this little um, pattern on them. And these are Prana. There's the Prana logo right there. I think this might be like an older pair, but they, they're in excellent condition. And these are a size 26, a lot of small pairs. So much for trying to get bigger sizes. But for the bins, these were probably less than a dollar. They're not very heavy. 
Um, but I think it's funny that I picked up like two pairs of orange-ish jeans slash pants. Um, so those I got at the bins. I went over to the men's section because I'm always looking for my boys or just like a good pair of pants. Um, and I got these American Eagle Outfitters denim relaxed straight. These are a 29 inch waist by 32. I may have gotten these at the bins. I am so sorry. I'm a little like out of it tonight. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure about these. These might have been the bins, but um, either way, they were about $2. They're size 29, 32, and I'll probably get between 20 and $25 back on a, as a return on those. I'm looking at my hair right now. Um, my dry shampoo has really just, I think I've maxed out <laughs> with the dry shampoo. These I got at the bins. <laughs> um, and these are a size, these are the jeggings and these are a size six short, six short. But that shredded look from American Eagle, like they always sell. I don't know how I'll do with the short. Um, I don't know if it would work as just like an, an ankle length, but I have a feeling that the rise is a little shorter too, more like a petite size, but we'll see. These I know I got at um, Savers. These are just Vineyard Vines lounge pants. They're in really good condition. They're a men's size medium and they're festive holiday lobsters with a little Santa hat on them. Just classic fleece. These are really popular from um, Vineyard Vines. And um, I expect between 20 and 25. I think I listed them at like 32 or 35 because there were none like this on the site. But these were $8 at Savers, so I paid two. And they'll probably go for about 20, 25. Oh, I did, I did have these. These are the red ones that I was talking about, this Crass & Co. in a size medium. You know, these are definitely more 4th of July themed, but um, I wanted to pick them up because the price was so good. This belt I got at the bins and I got it home and I realized that it still had the tag attached. Um, the price tag was on, but like I peeled it off because there were some orange stickers on it. But this is an American Eagle size large leather belt. Pretty sure it's a men's belt, um, but I'm not, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna have to measure it. I don't know, this looks, could go either way. It looks like it could be women's, I don't know doesn't say men's or women's. I have to little look a little closer. Anyways, either way, it's a great belt, leather belt, brand new. I love getting belts at the bins. Um, and while I'm sitting here, these are both very similar styles, which is funny. Um, the bins this day were very frustrating for shoes because they did a couple rotations, but everything was, everything was coming out in singles. I found a really nice pair of Paul Green shoes, which do well for me, um, but I only found one. Um, there were just a lot of singles. Everybody was trying to help each other out. These are born and they're, they're just in really good condition, but just like a classic leather not always the style that I like to pick up, but these are like a comfort shoe and they're kind of professional and they were in really good condition from the bin. So probably between 25 and $40 for these, I suspect. And this brand, um, the brand is Flex with two X's. These had pretty decent comps. I liked, I liked this part. This is like a very soft leather that comes up here with this little buckle. And again, these are just like cute little ankle heel this almost looks more like a booty because it comes up on the side where the other one didn't have it, it was more like a pump. So these I think might do a little bit better than the other shoes. Um, and the heel is really cute. Oh, size on these, in case anybody is curious. A US six and a half. I would have guessed they were bigger than that. Six and a half for these. Um, yeah, and those are slightly bigger. So these are probably seven, seven and a half. Okay, that's all for shoes. I'm still going with pants and stuff. This uh, was another pair of pants. These I think I must have picked up at the bins because they seem a little worn for picking them up at the store, but these are size eight. Again, they are the jegging, um, very comfy. They're a little bit faded. They're not quite as faded as they're showing on camera, but a little bit faded, but these are just like very like lived in stretchy jeans. Got a lot of American Eagle on this trip. The belt, 
the two pairs of uh, the two pairs of jeans, the maroon ones. I started with the men's jeans a lot more than usual. This actually I was excited about. Um, so this was in the skirt section, and it was it was like this, and it was clipped like that. And I'm like, oh, I kind of like that color. And then I looked, and it said Babaton, which is an Aritzia brand, which I do really well with. And then I looked closer, and I saw that there was like a shelf bra inside. I'm like, this is not a skirt at all. But it was in the skirt section, and it had a skirt tag for $7.49, so I got it for 75% off, so it was like $1.75, I was really excited. And it's just this, um, it's actually just a um, sleeveless, like little A-line, longer length top, and it's stretchy. Um, there are, there were, I need to wash this. I actually photographed it, and I noticed there were a couple of marks. It's a size small, but it has the shelf bra inside. I mean, super stretchy and comfy with like skinny jeans or like black pants. Like I can picture these with like satiny pants on New Year's Eve or something like that. Really cute, and it's like this blush pink. Super pretty. Um, Anyway, I was excited about that because I was getting so many pairs of pants and bottoms that day. I was excited to find a top that was actually going to count as pants. Um, these I got at the bins. These are Eddie Bauer. I just recently sold something from Eddie Bauer. It was a brand that I never picked up. And then I picked up like a jacket that my mom picked on our trip to New Hampshire in October. And it sold for like $25 in less than a month. So I was like, you know, maybe I'll grab it. These are just very lightweight nylon. So from the bins, these are probably 50 cents, 75 cents. And they're actually, they do have some structure to them. They have this nice pattern, which I like. There's a zip pocket right here in the back. Is that a zip? Yep, it's a zip pocket. And um, let me see, what size are these? They're a size small, but I would say like a generous small. Um, I just really like them. Just like a nice, basic, lightweight pant. And they're not too short. They're a little bit longer than like the running style nylon shorts, but I thought those were really cute for the price. This is a no big deal, like just a little champion sports bra. Looks like it's like a size medium. Um, these I also got from the bins. I like to carry some plus sizes. Oh no, these weren't from the bins. These were from, cause these were heavy for the bins. These are Torrid size three. And I wanna say they had these marked at like six or $7. So with the 75% off, these were a nice pickup for the holidays. Um, and I liked that they gave the style so, um, Oh, the Torrid Slim Fix collection. I just felt like these were very comfortable, professional looking. The cut date is 1030 of 14, so they're five years old, but um, I really like them. They're in excellent condition. The black isn't showing up too great. They look like they're a little bit cropped, so that would be like the equivalent of a 3X. I picked this up for my husband, Jay. He loves his like Hawaiian shirts in the summer, and this looks like a vintage Tommy Bahama. It's silk, I washed it, it needs pressing, I need to send it to the cleaners, but yeah, it's 100% silk. It's an old tag Tommy Bahama, but he liked it. So I grabbed that for him. I got this little hat, I haven't looked this up. The brand is called Swix, which is like, has the Swiss flag on it. Um, I like to get these like Nordic style things for the winter. So there's like the flag here, this little patch. Um, I don't know, it looks kind of vintagey. The tag has no more information on it. I haven't researched this. Probably between 10 and $15 for that. I got this at the bins, these soft, um, these were in really beautiful shape. They have a little, like little flecks of metallic in the heel. And um, these are honestly like brand new. Definitely out of season. But like I said, shoes were tricky that day. Um, these are a size nine medium, which is a great size. I love them. I love that the cork is here, but then the leather comes down to almost give like the illusion of a heel. Those are really nice for warmer months. And um, okay, so this was my first time picking up anything maternity. And um, I've talked about this before, but I really like to have something that I can share anytime they have a party. So they have a maternity party uh, once a week or so, and I never get to participate in it because I don't have any maternity clothes. So 
During the 70 75% off sale, I specifically went over to the maternity section, which I never go to. And um, I was just looking for some high-end brand denim. That's it. I wasn't looking at tops or dresses. I was just looking for some cute jeans. And I found these Adriana Goldschmied jeans. These were marked $9.99. So they cost $2.50 with 75% off. Um, and they there just say the collection. AG, made in the USA. I think I have these listed for $60. And the comps are really good on these. Like probably between $40 and $50. And um, some of the some of the maternity jeans are just like like a little expansion in the hip area, but these were nice for me when I was pregnant. I never liked things like below my belly. I was like, bring it right up to here if I could. Um, but yeah, this is lots of stretch, goes up high. They look comfortable. I'm like, yep, that's my kind of maternity pant. So, anyways, they're skinny leg. They're dark wash. Is that a stain? No, that's just the way the light's hitting it. Um, really cute. Oh, and they have this little sewn cuff at the bottom. So hoping that will be a good flip. And I'm just excited to have some maternity wear in my closet. Um, I got this scarf. Oh, this, I got some random stuff. Oh, I didn't even hit my random box from the bins. I'm going to do my random stuff now. This is recycled 100% cashmere. I looked on Etsy, um, it's called Here You Go Designs. So it was new with tag, but it's recycled. It's like a neck warmer. I got this at the bins. So it just has like these pieces that were sewn on here and then this in the back and it just must, must be like a cute little, let's see. Yeah, it's actually really cute. Um, it's just like a little scarf. So you can wear it you can wear whichever section of it that you'd like, but um, I have no idea, maybe 10 to, maybe $15. It is new with tag and it's recycled, so somebody might really like that. I thought that was cute. Um, kind of my rule of thumb for picking up scarves at the bin is I just look for any tag. So if it has a brand on it, it's probably worth a pickup. Um, I do decent, decently well with scarves. So this, um, Ahu Jason's, there's the tag right there. This brand is sold at Anthropology based on my research. I don't know if this was because there's no like, um, there's no RN number on it, but this is just a very classic, there's like a fly bouncing off of my um, light, if you can hear it. Um, this is just a really cute classic scarf, which I really, really love. I am into lightweight scarves that like aren't itchy. Um, there are a few flaws, like um, some pulling. I almost put this in um, Courtney's holiday box because it was nice and light and because it could have been from Anthro and I thought it was just like a nice little thing to include. But there were a few flaws that I wasn't crazy about, like where the fabric had pulled. And I think it was right by the tag. Honestly, so minor, like it would not bother me at all. But um, I just didn't want to chance it. Anyway, probably between $12 and $20 for that. It's a really good size and it's neutral colors, really pretty. Um, okay, every Christmas we go to my husband's cousin's house and he has like this, he does a lot of work on eBay. He sells a lot on eBay and he collects old um, lunch boxes. So I found this Howdy Doody lunch box that I'm gonna bring to him um, on Christmas Eve when he hosts. I mean, it's worth like $8. I think it's a repro, um, but I still think it's cute. He has like this room with like G.I. Joe's set up and like all sorts of dolls and he plays all vinyl music. He's got his record player set up. So it's kind of a fun room. So I thought that would be cute for him. Okay, this is something, I'm gonna try to sell these on eBay. They had, um, they, it must've been like a dollar store that was liquidating. So these are all hair scrunchies. See, all brand new on this ring. I think there's 12 here and there's 12 here. And then these were marked $2.99 each. I think I got like six of this like rust colored one. And then there's 24 new ones in here. So 24 and 24, 48 plus the rust. I have over 50 scrunchies that I got at the bins. And these probably cost like three bucks. Um, the girls who have like the long thick hair and they either pull it back in a low pony or they, they pull it over to the side. Um, and I was thinking about doing like three for $10. So I'll show them up. And there's like a little bit of white trim around and there's like magenta and there's green and there's gray and blue. And 
it was one of those things I, I stopped because there were so many. They also had headbands, but I thought those looked super cheap, the fabric that was on them. But I was just like, you know what? This could be a really fun pickup or it could be a bust, but um, it won't go to waste. So I got that. I think I'm done with, um, I think I'm done with my saver stuff. So the rest of the stuff I'm showing is from Goodwill Outlet. Nothing was crazy, but I get some random stuff I like to share with you. I had to get this dress because my husband was with me and he was so cute. He came over with a London fog coat that I really wanted to get. It was a fleece women's like pea coat style, um, but it was missing a button. And it was really like, um, it just, it needed like to be delinted. It was just a lot of work. So I put that back. I can't remember the other thing he brought me, but he found this new with tags dress and um, Matisu elegantly light luxury. So it was new with tag, very conservative looking, um, but I suppose classic. Looks like elbow length dress. I mean, this is a dress and it's got pockets and it's like a big A-line here. Um, if I have a stock photo, I will I will put it up because it's hard to tell, but it's, it's that really like, it's got the shimmer to it. It's like a polyester blend, but it's um, stretchy comfortable, all black. I mean, very lovely. Um, and there's a zipper down the back. I just thought it was sweet that he found something. <laughs> he always usually drops me off. He'll stay for like 10 minutes. If we take a ride together, like on a Sunday morning, we'll usually go together. Um, and he lasts like 10 minutes. And then he goes over to Sam's Club and he does grocery shopping, which is like really nice. There's also a market basket, which is a local grocery store. Um, so I actually make out because I get to work and he does grocery shopping for us, which is awesome. So we went to Sam's club and then he comes back and then he hovers until I'm ready to go. So I don't know, maybe 20 to $30 for this dress, but new with tag. I like having new with tag this time of year. Um, I picked up this vintage sweater and the comps on this were pretty decent. Hoping to get about $30 for this 30 to 40 N Neil Norman collection, Neil Norman. It's another thing I almost put in Courtney's box, but I didn't know if she wanted vintage. And I like picking up vintage and I, I do get a lot of vintage at the bins, but this is just a little cardigan sweater and it's got like the um, cable detail. Again, amazing, amazing condition, super soft, thick. This is a thicker cashmere than the pink one I showed earlier. And it's just an absolutely beautiful condition and I don't see a single flaw. There really aren't, there's not even a lot of pilling on this. I'm always amazed sometimes when I find stuff at the bins and it's just in such good condition. I'm like, how does this happen? Did I just see a hole? No, we're good. We're good, we're good. Okay, two more things and then I'm done. Well, three more things. I got this plaid, um, which one call it? Wrapping paper, I love that at the bins and that goes under the paper category. I got this another vintage um, blazer. I loved this um, tweed. The brand is Townhouse. It's a size 14. It's a wool, acrylic and polyester blend and it's made in Japan. So these oversized blazers are really in right now. More padded shoulders for your enjoyment. Um, yeah, I really, really liked this blazer a lot. Um, it's in real, it's in great condition. It's fully lined. The blue is just beautiful. I can just see this with so much with denim, with black. You, I, you could wear these with like those shredded distressed jeans and a white, uh, t-shirt. Um, just so many ways you, can, ways you can wear this blazer. I think it's beautiful. So pricing, I'm not sure. I'll probably price it between 30 and $40 and see how it does. Um, it's got little flecks of color in the tweed. It's just in beautiful condition. I was really excited about this. And then the, one of the last things I got for the day, um, I saw this little jersey. Actually, it was, it was facing this way, Guinness. And I was like, eh, that might do well. And I saw that it was like a, like a hockey jersey. And then I looked on the back and I saw March. I'm like, oh, I wonder what player goes by March. Like, I wonder which player that is. For real, this is my thinking. And then I pick it up. And it says March 17th. And I said to my husband, I wonder which player this is. And he's like, I think it's St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> I'm like, you're right. St. Patrick's Day was, um, yeah. So anyways, I think this is, such, I was actually really happy that it wasn't a player because it's generic enough. You got this great hockey shirt. The only comp I saw on this was $70. 
So I was proud of myself. There are a lot of guys looking for like jerseys there. There's like uh, these guys that are always looking for like 90s jerseys. And um, I had this like slung around my um, crossbody and I was looking through the bins and a couple of the old timers were like, nice find. Yeah, it's got this embroidered toucan with the 17. It's actually awesome. And it is a size extra large. So yeah, really excited about that. I hope that's a good, um, I hope that's a good sell. Definitely gonna list that on eBay. Um, you know, I probably don't have to get it listed right away, but um, it will definitely sell in the month of March. So that's all for my haul today. Thanks so much for joining me. Um, I actually have a um, collab coming out soon with a new printer that I'm filming this week. I'm really excited. I partnered with a company, so that will be coming out next week. And um, that's all for right now. Thanks so much for tuning in. Please like this if you enjoyed the video and consider subscribing to my channel. Um, if you like reseller content, I do a lot of it here. Have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for tuning into my channel. Much appreciated. Until next time, take care. Bye.